What is going on you guys? You know what it is, it's your boy the Flight Mike and welcome back to my Madden 15 owner mode featuring the Dallas Cowboys as we try to turn this team around. This week we're facing the San Francisco 49ers to open the 2014 season. Let's go! Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Opening week in the NFL is an exciting time for everybody, including these two teams here today. So now let's go to Arlington, Texas where Jim and Phil have the call. Anticipation is in the air as we join you for the start of another year of the NFL on EA Sports. Hello friends, Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and Phil. It's the start of a whole new season. There's a sense of renewal in the air and all kinds of hope. And how do you feel about getting this season underway? Well, there's all kinds of a lot of things. We got a lot of new players on each roster. You practice during the offseason. Very little during preseason games. Why? Because you're worried about entry. Can all these components fit together and give yourselves or give your team a chance to win? We'll find out some of those answers here today. Brian's back, ready to feel the opening kick. Lee's prepared to kick it away. So some storylines to follow in this game, you guys. You all know DeMarco Murray is injured, so we're going to have to fly with uh, Lance Dunbar. That was not a good first carry, man. That is not what I want to see out of my running backs, yo. We're going to give him another shot right here, and it's a little bit better. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. So you can see over here, Tony Rumble drops back. First pass of the season is going to be a stick play to our tight end. I believe that was Jason Witten or De Gavin Escobar. I'm not really sure. Des Bryant finally sees his first action of the game right there. You can see so far. It's 0-0. Zero to zero. Tony Rumble's going to drop back once more. Fire it to the left-handed side to Des Bryant again. And afterwards, Tony Romo, he's going to drop back. He's looking, he's looking. It looks like his O-line lets him down. And Tony Romo fumbles it already. His first turnover of the season. And the 49ers are going to take over over here. So you can see Colin Kaepernick's going to drop back. Fires off a pass to and Quan Bolden and Colin Kaepernick has so many weapons this year you guys you have no idea this guy has a wide receiver stable of Michael Crabtree Stevie Johnson and Quan Bolden he also has Vernon Davis as his tight end and you can see the 49ers are in business he's gonna hand this off on a read option to Carlos Hyde and he's gonna get that in for a touchdown so you can see the 49ers are up 7-0 we could not get anything to go on our drive but look at this man we are able to generate some pressure and force a fourth down later on in the game though the dallas cowboys are just doing awful at generating offense in general it's just terrible to watch it's just three and out after three and out otherwise i'd show you guys this but check this out man henry melton is able to get a sack that leads to a fumble and george selby is able to pick that up let's get another look at it man Henry Melton, the brand new free agent signing out of Chicago, trying to recreate his career in Dallas. You can see Tony Romo and the gang are going to take over in very good field position as they try to tie up the score. So second, third and four, excuse me. We're going to find our man Terrence Williams to the left. It's not good to go. And we're going to go ahead, play it safe, and kick a field goal. So we're down by four points. And check this out right here, man. Colin Kaepernick's going to drop back here. And look at Barry Church. Laying the smack down, doing his best. Ray Lewis or Sean Taylor impersonation gets us the ball back. And man, oh man, am I satisfied with the progress of Barry Church. He is a star on this defense. Well, a bright, so a bright spot, not a star, excuse me. So you can see Tony Romo over here checking down to his brand new halfback, Ryan Williams, who's also trying to recreate his career in Dallas as well. He was previously with the Arizona Cardinals. I think this is his third year, and he was a pretty high draft pick, if I remember. However, unfortunately, we are not able to convert and score a touchdown once again, so we're forced to kick another field goal. We're down by one, but hey, six points in about under a minute in football. That's fantastic. So you can see, starting the second half the 49ers come back and immediately throw an interception so Tony Romo has another chance to try to score a touchdown with this offense I'm not sure if it's our offense or their defense or just me sucking at Madden but we cannot seem to get into the end zone at all so we're gonna try to break that trend here you can see we're at the four yard line so we're gonna go to a stick play well first we're gonna go to a fade route to Des Bryant that doesn't go so wow good defense by Tremaine Brock and then afterwards we're gonna go to a stick play to Gavin Escobar that doesn't work either Navarro Bowman's there to break it up 
So, of course, we're going to kick another field goal. We're going to take the lead, and we are up by two points. So, of course, the 49ers are going to be able to come back and put some points on the board, right? Right? They have to. So, look at this. Colin Kaepernick's able to find his receiver right there for a first down. Afterwards, he's going to hand it off to Carlos Hyde, and it seems like they gave up completely on Frank Gore, or maybe he's not part of their squad, maybe he's injured, I'm not really sure, but either way, Carlos Hyde looks like he is their workhorse halfback, at least in my Connector franchise series. So you can see they're coming out in the pistol formation right here, Colin Kaepernick's going to try to run, that's not going to work, and how the hell are you guys making my defensive line look so nice? Like, look at this, oh my goodness, again, we force another fumble, we definitely need to... Be thankful for our defense for keeping us in this game as we get another fumble. Henry Melton making all kinds of plays. So is George Selby, man. So maybe our defensive line is one of our strong points. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to take it. You can see we're at third and long. I'm going to try this one-on-one -on -one coverage. Des Bryant versus any cornerback in one-on-one -on -one would usually work out really well. However, it looks like I was under-throwing it and Culver is able to pick me off. Which is kind of weird because I thought the 49ers DBs was their weakest part, but I'm not really sure. So you can see right here, Colin Kaepernick's going to drop back. He's going to fire off a pass to, I believe that's Stevie Johnson because I'm not really familiar with that jersey number. Or was that Michael Crabtree? I saw one there. You can see afterwards, we get another sack. It's second and 19. Colin Kaepernick's going to drop back once more. We get another sack. And our defense is straight up looking like some kind of amazing machine. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's practice. I'm happy with it because we are able to, we're looking good against the 49ers. They're punting the ball away. We have two minutes and, well, a little bit more than two minutes left. And at the end, you guys, we're able to run out the clock. And we are able to win this game without scoring a touchdown. So although we escaped this place with a W, I am very unsatisfied with this victory. Mainly for one reason, and that's because our offense could not get going. And our well, even if our defense was a huge bright spot, our offense could not get going. You cannot win football just by relying. Well, yeah, they do say defense wins championships. I get that, but... That's just not satisfying. As you look at these stats right here, Carlos Hyde had a great game. Our running backs couldn't do anything. Maybe, again, maybe it's the fact that we're playing the San Francisco 49ers. I'm not really sure. But check this out, man. 17 sacks. You would not expect that from the Dallas Cowboys. And then you can see here's some other news for you guys. So going back to the trade scenario, you guys did not want Tony Romo to get traded, not as badly as I thought you would, because most of my Instagram followers were saying, trade him, trade him. But that's, again, only two people that commented on my pictures. Just goes to show, I do pay attention to this stuff, you guys. So here's this week's question, this week's burning question, and that's who should be the bigger priority in re-signing? We are very strapped in cap space, so it might be either or. Do we go with Des Bryant, Tony Romo's favorite target, the fourth year superstar out of Oklahoma State, out of the 2009 draft, number 23 pick. Yeah, I know that much info on him. Or do we go with the 10th pick of the 2011 draft, Tyron Smith? Both of them are amazing players. Who should be the bigger priority? Let me know in the comment section down below, you guys. Next week, we take on the Tennessee Titans. And besides that, you guys, if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Besides that, I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'm signing out. Fuck.